Bwana Yesu asifiwe nina wasalimu mnao tupata kwenye mtandao katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa asubuhi njema ya leo ambayo ameweza kutupa ndipo sasa tukaweze kushiriki neno lake. Ningependa kusoma kitabu cha Danieli Danieli tano mstari wa ishirini na nane Inasema peresi ufalme wako umegawanyika nao wamepewa wamedi na wajemi. Ah uh, nakumbuka kwamba muda ambao si mrefu ambao umepita nimeweza kushiriki nanyi wapendwa mnao tusikiza na mnao tufuata kwenye YouTube kuhusu the test for spiritual condition na uh, siku moja nikazungumzia kuhusu that we are being tested through the word of god kwamba kupitia neno la Mungu tunafaa tujilinganishe tujieke kwa viatu vya walio tutangulia katika imani ndipo sasa tujue tumesimama wapi katika imani yetu na siku nyingine nikasema ya kwamba vile vile tunapimwa kupitia yale maneno tunayoyasema ule utamshi ama kunena kwetu na dhili tuna nazo weka our vows we are also being tested through that now siku ya leo ningependa tuangalie ni kitu gani ambacho ufanyika wakati ambapo you are you are weighed on the spiritual scales and you are found wanting what happens and you pale tumesoma Danieli 5:28 niliweza kueleza kueleza kile kisa na ni mambo yepi alikuwa yanaendelea pale na wakati ambapo ilifika Belshaza uh, uh, ma, ma, maneno yakaandikwa kwenye ukuta maneno menemene tekeli na peresi na peresi inasema kwamba ufalme wako umegawanyika nao wamepewa wamedi na wajemi siku ya leo ningependa tujue ya kwamba when we are tested spiritually when our spiritual condition is put on the scales when we are weighed and we are found one wanting when we are found wanting something happens and what happens our kingdom is divided ufalme wetu unagawanywa unapewa uh, yani we are given over to our enemies we are handed over to our enemies hii ni kumaanisha nini ni kumaanisha kwamba We need to walk well with the Lord. We need to keep our lamps burning. We need to keep the fire burning. We need to keep our spirituality on the level that the Lord desires us to walk. In this season in these times, we need people who will stand and say, I will stand for the gospel. I'll keep the fire burning. I I will have the zeal for the house of the Lord. Because if you do not have that, when you are found wanted, ukipatikana uh, ba- ado aufiki kile kiwango ambacho Mungu anahitaji ufalme wako utagawanywa and when your kingdom is divided ni kumaanisha kutembea kwako na Mungu wewe sasa hautakuwa pale utakuwa mahali pengine Mungu ataweza kuwa anaweza sema kwamba huyu ni mwanangu kwa nini sababu nilimpima na nimeona ya kwamba bado kuna sehemu bado amebakisha ninakupa changamoto wewe mpendwa usije ukafika verse 28 usije uka fika verse 28 Mungu asema ya kwamba ufalme wako umegawanywa uh, na, 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 na amewapa that you are given over to your enemies that means that God is not on your side that means that uh, 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 when calamities come you will be overtaken by the calamities because God is not with you why because you are weighed on the spiritual scales and you are found wanting Revelation chapter 2 and verse 5 says uh, consider how far you have fallen repent and do the things you did at first if you do not repent i will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place this is the area that i'm saying we we not we, we we don't need to go to that point at tuitaji tufikie pale we need to start uh, uh, at the beginning of the verse that we consider our ways we consider the far that we've fallen tuangalie ni wapi tulimwachia mungu ndipo sa kiro chetu ionekana ya kwamba we are wanting consider how far you have fallen new living translation inasema look how far you have fallen turn back to me and do the works you did at first if you do not repent i will come and remove your lampstand from its place among the churches ikifika mahali nuru yako inaondolewa you no longer shine hautaonekana because you are tested na, 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 and you are found wanting diposa usije ukafika pale 
chunguza njia zako na Bwana chunguza kiro chako chunguza your walk with God how are you walking with God are you doing the things that you did first maana hapa ili kanisa iliambiwa ya kwamba uh, uh, repent and do the things you did at first at first you were found in church very early you were found interceding for the church for the nation for brethren but these days you are nowhere to be seen consider and repent and do the things that you did and f- at first na tusija tukafika ile level ya kwamba our lampstand is removed from our place maana taa yetu ikiondolewa ni kumaanisha we will no longer shine hatutaonekana tena tutaingia kwenye giza na tutapotea ninakupa changamoto asubuhi ya leo usije ukafika eneo hili kumbuka mahali ambapo ulipokuwa kumbuka kutembea kwako na Bwana kumbuka jinsi ulivyompenda ulivyopenda kazi yake and do the things you did first May the Lord bless you. Nema iko ya kwamba unaweza ukarejea mambo ya kumpendeza Mungu. Unaweza ukarejea mambo ya kutafuta uso wa Bwana because this time we need a seeker of the face of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day in Jesus name. Amen. <laughs>